Welcome to part four of Upcycling My Dream Pinterest Wardrobe. Hi, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am a nasal, as you can hear, um, a little bit under the weather, but that did not stop me from getting out this corset tutorial. And this one is a good one because it is gonna teach you some essential, essential things you need to know in order to create an easy corset in your size. Yes, I'm gonna teach you how to make a pattern and how to make a simple corset in your size out of old jeans. Yes, let's do it. All right, the first thing you wanna get is a rubber band and some masking tape. It could also be that blue uh, painter's tape. I know I have a ton of that. And you want to put on the bra that you would wear with the corset if you're gonna wear one. And then put on a t-shirt and we wanna just make it fit as snug as possible. So I'm gonna use the rubber band in order to just tighten the t-shirt like that. So it fits really nice and snug to my body like that. Now we're just gonna take the masking tape and we're just gonna tape ourselves. And you wanna make sure to go over your curves. Don't just make it flat. Especially if you actually have a chest, make sure you go over the curves and get those curves in there. All right, we're gonna keep going for as long as we can. Get to make sure you get the curve of your body. All right, and we want to get a pen, pencil, something to write on it. First thing you wanna do is find your midline and mark there, halfway in between your chest and mark there, all the way down. If you can't draw straight, that's fine. You can fix it with a ruler later. Then you wanna go right above your chest to how high you want the bustier. And then I am going to go directly from the top of my chest down and go towards the bottom. It doesn't have to be straight. As a matter of fact, it should start to go a little bit towards this direction. All right, then you wanna make a line from underneath your bust, mark where that is, and go around. You just wanna like carve out the shape of your bust. We're gonna mark what's the side seam and just carve out your chest until you get to the side of your chest. And then you also wanna mark how high you want it to go underneath your arm so that it's not cutting off your underarm. Now that we have that, we can do our curve. And in this way, you can do either sweetheart or the other one that I did where I did the point and then the angle. I cannot decide what I want this to be. I'm feeling like I want it to be a point. Yeah, I think that's just more flattering on me. And we wanna bring this to there. And then this, I think I wanna dip it a little bit more. Ooh, yeah. All right, so if you want a whole cup, you can do it that way. But we're gonna do a more simple version of it where the, the center panel is just like two pieces. And then we have this half cup and then the side piece, and then the back piece. So now we need to figure out what we want to do at the bottom. I want to come do that little kind of point thing and then come up to here. I want it to dip a little bit further down to like right here. All right, so now after you have it drawn, go in a mirror, see how you like it, fix anything that you don't like to adjust mine. I took it from down here to up here. I think that'll be more flattering. It's more at the small of my waist and right above where my pants go. And then also, instead of doing, having to go straight and then up, I added a gradual curve on the side. So now we're gonna go ahead and carefully peel it off. All right, there's my little bitty curve. Take it to the cutting table. All right, so here is our piece. We can go ahead and start cutting those pieces apart. Of course, I have some paper scissors because this is sticky. All right, so we have all of our pieces. We're gonna lay them flat on this paper, trace around them on this paper to make a pattern with about a half inch seam allowance. 
And I'm lying. I'm going to use three A's. And then also, this piece is going to have another piece. We just got to figure out how long. And that's going to be the back piece. All right, now let's label these pieces. This is a fold line and this is the front bodice cup. And we wanna times two that side bodice. You can also label like if you're gonna have a direction, like this is straight up and down. The tape is actually gonna help me though, cause now I can see what straight up and down is kinda. And also to account for the extra curve in the cup, like you want it to do that, to like cup under. You wanna place it up against you <laughs> and get that, whatever that dart needs to be, and then you can mark it. And you can actually cut it to be two pieces if you want it to. So it could be like that piece, and then that piece, it could be two separate pieces if you want, or you can just cut it as one piece and then put in a dart. All right, we are ready to make the fabric. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. We are doing some amazing things here and I don't want you to miss it. And if you're already an upcycler and you want to keep on track, I do have an upcycle planner that you can purchase. We have a digital copy as well as a hard copy. For more information, check the link in the description box. And if you're already subscribed and you want to become a member for behind the scenes sneak peeks as well as class opportunities with me, definitely hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to learn more. All right, back to the video. All right, so I really, really love my flat fail seam top and I really wanted to make something that had that vibe but was a corset. So this is what I came up with. All right, we're gonna start off with a pair of jeans and I like that they're acid wash and they still have their flat fail seam. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut about like two and a half inch strips. All right, so we are going to make this side bodice piece with the ribbing or it's gonna look like it's ribbing using the flat fail seam. And so I wanna keep as much of this as possible. So I'm gonna do my best to cut it according to the pattern. I want to see three of these. So that's gonna be an inch and three quarters apart. So I'm gonna let, just lay this first piece here, draw it out and cut it. That allows me not to waste any material. So I can lay this there and adjust so that I'm only using the amount that I need. And we just keep marking until we work our way to the other side. And then we can save this for another portion and then we can just use a flat piece to finish it off. So there we go. We just wanna sew these pieces together right along the edge. I am going to use some thread that matches the denim, probably like a blue gray um, as much as possible and just right along the edge. All right, so now we have a piece that technically should cover our pattern and we're just gonna trace it or you know pin it however you like to do your patterns and we're gonna cut it out now we need to cut a cup i need my darts actually on this side all right so now we can go and add our dart i'm gonna fold that in half and line up the marks sew that in your dart now that i have my dart i can go sew this together it may look like, oh, my pattern pieces came together and they're gonna fit perfectly. No, once I sew this together, so this is gonna, you know, go around there, I'm gonna have a big piece extra. So if you want to rewind <laughs> back to the beginning when we were cutting these pieces out, if you wanna add a little bit on this side to your cup, you absolutely need this length then you want to do that in order to compensate for the dark. I'm not going to do it because I found that in the end, losing that little piece made it fit better just simply because the tape wasn't like tight, tight, tight to me. But I thought I'd let you guys know that because I don't want you to do it and it turns out, you know, too small. So we are about to cut the middle 
the front bodice piece and I'm going to use the side seam of one of the legs in order just to keep this seam. I mean it's here, why not use it? I'll just fold this flat. I like to wash on the seams when they're old. So using this actual seam will definitely, you know, make it look how we want it to look. All right, so here's our piece. We are going to sew this together. Like I said, I wanted the tops to match. So we're gonna line this up and then go along and then just act like this extra piece doesn't matter and then just act like it's going straight down. You can see I did it with this one. It has an extra piece there. But when I put it up to me, it seems to be okay. All right, we are going to make the little back piece right here. So we're gonna just cut some strips. I have two actual flat fail seams that are going to come together for the zipper. And then these are gonna be the fake ones. And then all I'm gonna do is lay them together, sew it down and then fold it over so that the seam, they're all going in the same direction. So these are going this direction, these are going this direction, and then I'll go to my industrial sewing machine and do top stitch. These are not thick at all. It's only three layers. You could definitely do that on a regular sewing machine. Even a beginner sewing machine should do that. And then I'll just keep layering them, layering them until we have the whole piece. All right, now it's gonna go over here and we're gonna attach it like that. All right, I have a zipper here that I have shortened. If you saw my how to shorten a zipper tutorial, then you'll know how to do this. This was in an old jacket, it was longer and we made it shorter. So this is exactly the same length that we need to do this. The great thing about knowing how to shorten a zipper is regardless of whether you buy it or not, you can customize it to make it exactly the length that you need because it may not be a typical length and then you can customize it to whatever length you want. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and sew it into the garment. The tops I left a little long. Since I don't have a finished edge, I can fold that down and it'll look nice and neat. And we're just gonna top stitch it in. And the last thing you wanna do is go ahead and try it on. And if it's loose in any place, then you can adjust it on these side seams. At the last minute, I decided that I want the ends finished. And so I took the zipper out. I have to readjust the length of the zipper. And then I serge the edges. And now I'm just turning it under. Typically, denim would be a double fold turn like him double fold him but because of how much denim i'm working with i'm just going to serge it and turn it under and if you do need to take away some of the girth in here you can always take away some of the inside of the flat fail seam in order to get it to turn down for you and that's it you've learned how to make your very on fitted corset that'll snatch you if you don't want to put the zipper in you can definitely put in the little grommets and add a tie now let's see how it looks with the pants from this collection i just can't get enough to put up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been hanging on myself Asking for help But nothing seems to work on you Yeah <laughs> simple little corset this is really fun um there is something else that i want to do to it i'm not gonna say yet just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it i'll probably add it in somewhere later in this series um because it's not something big but it's something that mm, chef's kiss i just my health <laughs> wouldn't allow me to go that far but i thought that this was a really really good start as far as a corset is concerned and of course we love denim here so we're happy all the way around and i have a bunch of other denim tops like this one you'll see them right here and and I'll put the links in the description box below so you can check those out. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!